Hello everybody, and today we are going to use an STL to help us model some feature. Uh, in our case, we're gonna bring in a foot that I found off Thingiverse in order to model a sneaker around it. So let's start bringing in an STL so we can model a shoe. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna open up a document in Onshape. Um, I'm gonna call this sneaker V3. And when that opens up, First thing we're going to do is we're going to get that STL file. So on here, we're going to hit plus sign down on the bottom and then go to import. And here's the shoe right here or the, sorry, the foot, uh, this STL file. We're going to open that. And now when we import then, I'm going to do this with the Y axis pointing up. And we're going to make sure that we are in millimeters. This is pretty close to a life size foot. We can actually scale and adjust dimensions afterwards um, before we do it. I'm going to bring it in. I'll show you how to scale it if you want to scale it, but it's pretty easy stuff. All right, so we're going to import this in. And it's going to take a second or two. And you can see I've done this a few times already. And it looks like it was translating successfully and imported in. So I can X out of all of that. And now here... First thing I'm going to do is, so if we want to know it's the right size, let's just say that this foot is 12 inches. I'm going to create a sketch on this top plane. I'm going to create a construction line. I'm going to hit N on the keyboard. And click, type in 12. And now we know that that is roughly 12 inches. I'm just going to slide. Come on, slide. There we go. That over so it's roughly centered. It doesn't have to be just roughly. And hit the check mark. So now we have that. So when I place the foot and size it and compare it, I have something to compare it to. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but you could make this perfect if you wanted to. Next thing we are going to do, we're going to hit the derive function right here. So depending on how big your screen is and the resolution, these may or may not be bigger. It might be underneath plane. And you'll have to drop down. So we're going to do derived. There's our part one. I'm going to bring that in and hit the check mark. So now we have a foot. And you can see it's not in the right spot. So let's make it in the right spot. We are then going to go to transform. Click on the foot. Translate by X, Y, Z. And we can literally just drag it over into position. All right. So we're going to need to rotate this foot next. And I'm actually going to bring this up. look at the bottom so it's still got to go up 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 and away there it is it's pretty good and slide it over sometimes it imports a little bit better than others and that looks pretty good let's just move it over a little bit more you can go back and forth with this as much as you want that's first one now i'm going to do is i'm going to create another sketch because I need to rotate this whole foot like that. So like almost like there was an axis through here. So I'm going to create a sketch on this one. Same thing. Uh, it could be a line of any size. I'm going to go up from the origin and straight up like that. It's constrained. Construction line once again. That's this little piece right here or Q. Q on the keyboard. Finish sketch. Now I can go back to that transform. Rotate. Click the object come in and click the axis, which is now that. And you can see here, I could start rotating this in. And now that looks pretty good. It's about where I want, 50 degrees. Now it's rotated and you can see the axis is still there. And now if I want, I could scale this up a little bit bigger. Same thing, that's in the transform menu. Transform, scale. Now how much you scale by? Okay, it's up to you. So we got part one, it's gonna get scaled. I'm gonna click the make connector or point, which is right there. And now I can start changing number 1.1. Let's see how big it goes. And that's pretty good. Let's go 1.2. And there you have it. That foot is in and scaled roughly where it needs to be. Now I probably could have taken a measure and done the division between the two to get the proportion, but I didn't. This is just roundabout. So now we have the foot in on shape as an STL that I got off Thingiverse positioned so that I can now start modeling a shoe that'll fit this 12 inch long foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'll stop here 
upload this so you have it and now everyone can do that now you could do this with anything it could be car parts it could be plane parts i don't know whatever it is that it is that you grab an stl from now you can model around it and you can see here down it's a separate part all right everyone that's the first step on to step two is going to be modeling the actual shoe oh don't forget to like and subscribe because well it helps me make these videos and uh if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Later.